Hello and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, now that we're back and uh, by this time I should be uh, hopefully starting to settle into college again. Uh, we're gonna continue with the uh, Water Temple in the Great Bay. Actually, wait. There we go, I remember to slow down time first. Because I want as much time as I uh, need for the, uh, as much time as I can get for the water temple, because the water temple in this game is a, I like it a lot, but it's the boss that usually gives me trouble. Mm, I don't think I need to grab any rupees. I just need to teleport back to where that, uh, to where the, uh, mute Zora was. Zora cave. Grab a fairy. It's always good to have these with the particular boss in the next dungeon. Alright, we got some arrows. Some, uh, we don't have any bombs. Hmm. Yeah, it's not a problem for now. Now, last time we came here, we uh, we just learned the new uh, the new wave bossa nova, and now we're gonna play that for her because this will uh, help us get to the temple. Actually, let me check out the plate again. Okay, let me try to remember that. There we go. Now all of a sudden she can sing again. Also, strangely, this wakes up the island, which in fact is not an island, but a giant turtle. Now the turtle will give us a lift into the uh, water temple in the middle of the bay. Otherwise we can never get there because A, it's too far out to swim, and plus it's surrounded by constant storms. Yeah, she's confused, but eh. There'll be time for this later. There we go. And we're off. As you can see, the pirates are trying to get in there. But, well...
Yeah, as you can see, yeah, it doesn't work. They pretty much just killed themselves. We, on the other hand, can get through because we have a giant turtle, and somehow that makes it easier to get through. Alright, so we're in what I would potentially call maybe one of the more difficult dungeons. I'm not sure if it's the hardest. has some tricky rooms to it, I remember that. But I don't remember it ever being that hard for me. Arrows, bombs, didn't mean to fall into the water. Alright, we have enough arrows and bombs. We are missing D26 though. Well, let's see if we can get that fairy. I'll equip an arrow too. There we go. Two fairies. And that's, that's enough for now. We can come back to the room and get another one, I think. Actually, let me try something real quick. Then we'll get started in the mechanics of this place. If I'm fast enough, I think I can shoot an arrow to each one. Okay, where's the way? a Deku stick later. Actually, yeah, there are Deku Babas in, uh, in this dungeon, so we should be able to get uh, some sticks. Let's see. Now this uh, place works with uh, water currents and uh, different flows of water and such. It's sort of difficult, but uh, you just gotta get used to how the dungeon's laid out, I guess is the easiest way to say it. But first of all, um, we need to open up some of these water flows so that way we can continue on. The red one can't be fixed for a bit, I think. We had to get up there. As you can see, that uh, pretty much gets the uh, whole thing running. Ah, let's get that fairy real quick. There we go. I want to get all the stray fairies in this dungeon, because I'm pretty sure this is the dungeon that if you get all the stray fairies, you can essentially just double your health.
trying to use the shield, but I couldn't activate in time. That's another ability of the Zoras, I forgot, they have a shield. I think when they're swimming, if you press the shield button, you, um, you get, uh, essentially, yeah, see? You saw that blue, uh, glowing effect and such around the Zora? That's the, uh, the shield effect. Okay, it's just easier to take out the Skulltillas and Blink. Because the arrow's just killing it, simply. Check around here. Okay. We'll get to that later. Can't get to there now because the water flow uh, from the uh, I guess it's the red source is not activated. Yeah, we can change the uh, direction the water wheel goes, but not until much later. Let's see. Hmm. Can't go up there yet because of that water. We need the ice arrow, which we'll get in this dungeon as well. Now just follow the flow into whichever path you find because I'm not sure which direction you're supposed to go first. Ah. Best thing to do to defeat these things is I'm, ah, I'm trying to get up. There we go. While you're swimming, if you press R, you'll have the shield effect. So that's useful for taking out these enemies. I forgot about that, but uh, if you look in the comment section of one of the earlier videos, someone reminded me. And again, thank you for reminding me, otherwise I might not remember it right now. Yeah, killing enemies. It does use magic though, so be careful when you're using it. Let's surface real quick. the other door we need the ice arrow again but for now we can at least get the large treasure chest thanks to the hook shot and if I'm correct this contains either the map of the compass again so it's nothing major but it'll help me uh, remember the layout okay let's look at the layout real quick at the dungeon Alright, yeah, this dungeon isn't as big as I remember it being. So, hopefully this won't be too hard, but we will have to backtrack a few times between the rooms in order to get to where we need to go. The bio deep above us. Yeah, don't worry much about them, just uh, cut them down if you can. Oh, or just use the shield again. Ow. Not good with my aim right now. That's bad.
I'm gonna kill that Digu Baba because I'm not sure if it has an, uh, a, uh, what do, how do I say it? A fairy in it or not? Ah, oh, look, treasure chest. That's what I was looking for. Oh, ah, I don't mean to do that. Okay. Third one. Alright, good progress on these. 